Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing uh, three makeup looks for sort of a date night because um, obviously the big V day is coming and it's just around the corner and um, so I thought I'd make a little video in uh, a little video with some makeup looks video for you is a collaboration with the white chapter so I'm going to be putting all the links to her um, to her down below she will be doing the sort of lookbook version that will go along with the makeup looks that I'm doing today so obviously this is the first one I sort of call this one sort of like a dusky rose type of look on my eyes I've got uh, I've got like light pinky reddish colors as well as on my lips I've gone for a very like soft pink look so let's get in today's video where we talk about this first look and then I'll talk about the next ones as we get to them so let me talk about this first so um, I already started out with my sort of foundation on and my eyebrows and my highlight and a little bit of contour because I didn't want too much contour to go with any of these looks I really wanted to focus on sort of the eyes and the lips so first off I started by priming my eyes with the with my Rimmel Stay Matte um, powder it's not a primer but I decided to use this because it is sort of like a translucent -y color and to sort of get like the pinky like reds to appear on my eyes I thought it would be best to use something where they could like something to help it look more vibrant because I haven't got a make, um, eyeshadow primer at the moment but if you do put your eyeshadow primer on and then the first one well this was sort of a fail because I don't actually have that many like I don't actually have any pink eyeshadows so what I actually used was um, a Lancome blush I and mean, this is the blush devil um, it's sort of a like soft light and it is cracked by the way but it is sort of like a soft light pink and it doesn't really suit my cheeks but I put it on my eyes one day and that's what inspired this sort of dusky rose colour so I just pat that onto the eyes using my fingers and then I went to my sleek Au Naturel palette and I really love this palette and again this one is a bit broken but you know me I'm not gonna throw it out just because it's slightly broken when it is still usable so I use sort of the musky red color and I use that along the outer of my eyes just so my eyes sort of had a fade and then I also use I started to use a sort of shimmery red color that it had as well but I didn't think that stood out enough for me it wasn't noticeable at all when I was putting it on so then I went to my Rimmel Brixton Brown's little eyeshadow palette and I used the center the center color which is uh, and it's a sort of red and it really st it really stuck out for me a lot better than the sleek one so once I got that on it was time for my eyelashes so for my eyelashes oh and I'm not using any eyeliner with this look I want it to stay very soft and very pretty so for my eyelashes I got these eyelashes from the local hair shop and it is model lash and it's 100% human hair and it's natural Remy hair eyelashes and I used the wisp um, lashes so they start off they start off small in the um, front and work out bigger to the edges because I wanted everything to be sort of soft and not have harsh like really stand outish um, eyelashes so once I've got that on I've moved on for my lips now for my lips so it, it, I find it a bit hard to put um, eyelashes on on camera so I've done the best that I can and hopefully it doesn't look terrible but it does look really, um, once you've got them on good it does look great. So once I've done with my eyes I move on to my lips. Now I've used about four different products for my lips. I used the, the Sleek Oula La Liner in Cocoa. And I'm also using the Sleek um, Oula La Liner in Lingerie. So I started with Lingerie first all over the lips. And then I defined my lips with the Cocoa Color. Sort of giving the lips a more defined shape. And using those little lines in between. Just to sort of make my lips look nice and full. Then I used my Sephora Lip um, 
my Sephora lip shine in the color N37 and I used this all over and it gave me a really nice pretty gloss and if you do not want your lips to be too glossy and sort of more like a matte look I then used the Sleek Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream in the color Birthday Suit and I sort of used that on over everything else that I had used and I find that it gives me this really pretty sort of like new lip color and I think it really suits brown skin as well it is not too like sort of like that ashy look it just sits really nicely on the lips and this is what I think are for my sort of first look as a dusky I'm not sure what to call it give me a name for this look down below I'm thinking sort of like soft pink or brownish pink or brown pink princess I don't know but this is my first look so let's go into the second look oh this is the second look this is what I would call my sort of classic go-to date night look it's sort of the nice shimmery browns on the eyes with a beautiful classic red lip so what I used again I had my foundation my highlight and um, I sort of mattified the highlight a bit more for this look because I think when you've got something like all the shimmer on the eye you don't need too much like highlight on the um, face so I went in with the eyes and with the eyes I started off with my sleek it palette in the sort of nudes collection and I used the um, the lightest brown there and I used that all over my eyelid and then I used two different colors I used more of the goldish and then more of this sort of rose goldish color which are um, these two here that I'm showing you and I blended the two of them out together just to get the right sort of shimmer because I didn't want it to be too gold and I didn't want it to be like too sort of like a dark shimmer so I used the both of them then I took one of the darkest browns that I used um, in the other makeup look to where I used it to line um, instead of using an eyeliner and I just used that in the outer sort of V on my eye just to darken up the corners a bit and then I went in and did my mascara and for my mascara I used Maybelline uh, Big Lashes Volume Express and um, it's the double one where you've got the thicker brush for um, to push up your lashes and to sort of widen and push them up and then the little brush just to magnify your lower lashes so I used that on my top and bottom lashes and then I went in with some eyeliner just a little bit I used an older eyeliner just so it would have a uh, just so it would have a softer line because again I wanted to keep this quite soft you'll notice that like the last two looks have been quite soft because you don't want too much makeup on um, on your date night you want to look you know um, you want to look well put together but not overly done especially if it's sort of like a first date or it's someone you've been out with for a while you don't want you want to look good but you don't want to look crazy so I just went in with my collection 200 extreme 24 hour felt tip liner and I just lightly sort of tight lined the top of my eyes and then for my lower my lower tight line is that the right thing to use for to line my lower lids my lower eye I used the um, Sephora eyeshadow I, I used the Sephora brown eyeliner that comes with the um, it girl eyeshadow palette and the nude one at least I didn't want to put any um, eyelashes with this look I wanted to kind of, I wanted to keep it like classic and this is what would I would usually do on a date night and then I went in with the Rouge Edition Velvet by Bijoux and this is the color 08 Grand Guru or something it's a matte lipstick and it's like a nice red now this has to, I find this lipstick to be a bit buildable so I put it on on first and it's a bit thin so I just wait for it to dry out and then I put on another layer and then I get my perfect sort of like how much how deep I want the red to be and then I sort of go in with a um, concealer and just try and tidy up the best you see that I'm not very good at it I'm not the best at doing like tidying up 
lips and so bad I just go in and just put in the concealer and then I go back over with my powder so it doesn't look too different from my skin and then that's it this is my sort of classic date night makeup um, I would wear I wear this quite often if you follow me on Instagram links to that below or Twitter you would often find that I'm in some sort like I'm often in this look I just think it matches anything you're wearing it's so simple it's so beautiful I don't think no one couldn't look pretty with this sort of kind of makeup but let's get in to my last sort of date night makeup and this one's gonna be a little bit more different I wanted to have fun with the last one so here it is and this is the third and final look I think this is very much on trend with sort of the vampy look it's a very Oh, my necklace is all twisted. Ew. This is very much um, different for me. I never do such a dark lip. I have been venturing out into it a bit and then it's very muted and like vampirish. And that's what I really like about this look. So first of all, I started with my lips this time for a change and I um, went in with my Ooh La liner in Raisin and I put that all over my lips and uh, lined it up with that and then on top of that I went with Sleek's matte red lipstick in vamp and I put that just sort of in the center of my lips and then just because I wanted a bit of a shine to it I just put a little bit of my um, L'Oreal's Paris lip gloss it cream lip gloss in I got that power just sort of in the middle just to give it a bit more of a shine because I didn't like the way it looked so matte and then I lined around my lips again with my sleek um, concealer it's the Illumia concealer in number five and I sort of use that to sort of sharpen it up especially at the lower bit um, at, especially around the bottom lip where I tend to be more messy when I'm doing sort of like a precise colored lip and then I went to my eyes now you would notice um, no then I went to my eyes I used the face natural by night palette and I used the color Coco star which is you can see the one that I used the most and I used that all over my lids and then after I had done that, I sort of went in with my sleek all natural palette and I used this sort of like dusky rose orange. Now I, I used that one because I find it most blends with my skin because I did not want that colour to sort out, to stand out. I sort of wanted to make a clear separation between the Cocoa Star and then sort of where my upper lid went um, came in. It's a great blendable colour, it just blends it in. So it looks like my eye is slowly smoking out with just two colours instead of using three or four colours. And then once, oh also again I prime the eyes by using my matte primer shadow just to sort of give the eyeshadow something to hold on to. And then once I put on my eyeshadows I went in with um, a new liner that I've never used before and I quite liked and also I did the sellotape trick because I wanted the arches of my flicks to be quite high a lot higher than I would usually do them because I wasn't looking for a cat eye I was looking for a bat eye because we've gone for a vampire look and then um so yeah I used the uh new sleek sort of felt tip eyeliner and I really really liked using that because I got it ages ago and never used it yet and it was great it's easy to use the formula comes out really well on the eyes and I, again as you see I use the sellotape now another trick you guys all should know is that sticking the sellotape a little bit on the back of your hand to sort of help get it like so it doesn't stick to your face too much I do my eyeliner and then I'm going in with half lashes. So the same um, eyelashes that I used on my first look which is the Model Lash Natural Remy in the Wisp. I had an older pair of these that I cut in half and I used actually the inner corner where it gets shorter to longer. I cut it half where, 
let me show you it's easier to describe so you see where it gets sort of shorter to longer I cut that in half and I use the shorter to longer bit the sort of what's supposed to be your inner corner as the outer corner because just it's easier to blend because the outer corner on its own really sticks out whereas if you use the inner corner where they it should be on the inside as the eye as the outside it gives you this sort of natural um sort of cat flick with your eyelashes oh guys my eyes started to water a lot while i was doing this look um i'm filming these makeup looks back to back so um obviously it started to take a toll on my eyes because i had to keep on removing my eye makeup and stuff just to put on new makeup but anyway no complaints here because i'm quite happy with what i've got so once i've um I've done the eyeliner and I've tight lined my eyes with a bit of black. I didn't really like how the black pencil was coming up underneath my eyes, probably because my eyes were watering so much. But I just went in with some black eyeshadow and really smoked it up because I already had used some of that Cocoa Star underneath the eyes. But I went in with that black just to make it a bit more deeper and just to really so you hone in that the eyes are sort of like mysterious and dark and you've got this like without being too dark and then the eyes as well as well with my mascara I use the um, Ramel lash accelerator uh, which has fibers in it but I went in with my old favorite which is the Cougar magic a fiber lash extender kit and I didn't use the mascara of that I just used the sort of la what do you call it the fibers that you get from it now be careful when you're using this as you will see in the video my eyes did start to water up a lot um, because I got some of the fibers actually in my eye so when you're using it try and not to get so much make sure it's like a sort of thin spoolie like that and it's not uber thick like that as if, if you can see because that's when they start falling into the eyes and that's what happened and that's what caused the irritation so um, I went in with that with the Rimmel mascara and then I put obviously the short corner eyelashes on the end and then I really mattified my face with my sleek translucent powder in medium because vampires don't shine we, we ain't no twilight you've got to make your skin as matte as possible to make it work with this look but I just tried to mattify out most of the highlight and contour that I had from the previous two looks and then just sort of blend it out with my Real Techniques powder brush and I just sort of blend it all out just to give me a really smooth finish and that is it. Um, if I forget any steps obviously you know I'm going to just pop them in as well with sort of like text or anything over it but those were sort of my three so that's my video today guys those were my three date night looks i've got romantic rose i've got classic classic red we should call it or classic date and we've got the vampire look as well again this video is a collaboration with the white chapter so she will be putting up all of the look the sort of um, outfit looks to go with these dates so check her out right now that would be great thank you again if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like and if you want to see more videos from me don't forget to subscribe as well and um, I hope you guys have had a great week so far and um, I've got a delivery here of some lippies that I will be trying out and should I just give you a little hint or should I make you wait um, there are two missing from here because unfortunately they were out of stock when I ordered them. But um, yeah, I've got some lippies here for you. So if you want to see that video, you've got to stay tuned for Sunday. And I will see you then. Bye.